Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. I am so excited about today's episode because I'm going to be sharing with you a super quick little trick to keeping your fruit safe from pests. It is right now that the pests are super hungry, whether it's your mice, squirrels, raccoons, rabbits, deer, you name it. If it's a pest, they're hungry right now because they're starting to stock up uh, on their fat stores and their food stores for winter. Because when winter comes, food is scarce. They get very hungry. And so right now, when food, is, when food is in abundance, they just go crazy on it. And unfortunately, our garden is like, like a living produce aisle for them. They're just like, what can I eat? Everything is food to me. And so we need to protect our garden, especially the things that are taking a long time to mature. You know, your tomatoes, a lot of your tomatoes, you probably are already sick of your tomatoes. Maybe you're not. We're still getting a lot of tomatoes and we're not sick of them yet, but uh, you know, We've got our fair share of tomatoes, our, our zucchinis and things like that. We've got a bunch more zucchinis coming on for our, for our fall harvest, but you know we've had a fair amount of zucchinis. There's a few things we've not yet had, and that is our watermelon and our winter squash. These are two things that we still have yet to ripen up, that we've not yet gotten any in the house, we've not put any away, and if we lost them, it means we wouldn't have any for ourselves. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna protect them from pests using leggings. Now this might seem extremely silly and pretty laughable, but you can laugh all you want, it works. And I actually learned this trick from our Amish community about three towns north of here. As a kid, I tell this story all the time, I grew up pretty much in an Amish community. Um, I grew up going to see my grandparents up at a town called Brown City. There's a massive Mennonite community up there and they are, you know, they're, they're very active in the community. And so when we would go out and support their, their stores, they had a little uh, Amish Mennonite store there where we'd get a bunch of canned goods and, and different treats and stuff. We'd go out there and support their store. They had a farm on site as well. And so uh, when we would go out there, obviously me loving a garden, I would just stroll through their garden. And one day I noticed something really strange. All of their zucchinis that they were saving for seed stock, all of their watermelons, all of their cantaloupe, and all of their remaining tomatoes were sitting on the vine with pantyhose around them. And at the time, I didn't know what they were. They were just like brown tube socks. And I thought to myself, what the heck is that for? So I asked. So I walked over to the gentleman that was working the field that day and I asked him, I said, what is all over all of your fruits and vegetables and stuff? And he said, leggings. We go and we source out uh, trucks that have either turned over on the highway or you know, um, boxes that fell off uh, you know, a high-low or things like that. They got damaged and were unable to be used. A lot of the stuff that we'll sell, just slightly damaged goods in our Mennonite store, um, stuff that might just have like a little dent in it or might have been opened or whatever, but it's still perfectly fine. They would sell those at their Mennonite store. And then when they got stuff like leggings, they would just stockpile them. And they had a whole room filled with just leggings. This thing was just stocked full of just leggings. And they didn't sell those, they used them on their crops. And what they would do is they'd open them up and they would just put them over top. Sometimes they'd cut them to size, um, but if they were a big fruit, they would just slip them right over top of the fruit. And I thought this was really incredible. This was such a genius idea to protect your crops. And what he said is, is that it allows the sunlight, the sunlight to pass through the nylon material so that the, the fruit could still ripen. It would protect it against pests because a pest would come and it would scratch it and it wouldn't, it would not really see that as a, um, as a, uh, you know, a, like a, a natural surface. All right. And so what you want to do is you just want to take the nylon, stretch it like that and stick it over top of the melon. Now, the one thing that I've discovered is that uh, when in doubt, buy larger size, buy larger sized leggings, because these leggings here were the smaller size of the three that were available. And I just figured, I'm like, well, it's about the thickness of a thigh. I mean, it's probably gonna fit over it. So I just went with these ones because uh, these ones were a 10 pack and they had larger ones that came in a four pack. I should have gone with the larger ones. Despite getting less, the larger ones would have fit over top of this melon. These leggings are not wide enough. They don't have enough stretch in them to get over top of this giant 15, 20 pound watermelon here. And so I should have gone with the larger ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the store later so I can take care of this melon, but I am gonna take you over to the winter squash just so I can show you in theory how it works because these will definitely fit over top of the winter squash. So I'm gonna go show you that. That way you guys can take this information, get it out in your garden, protect your stuff. That way, you know, you can have this trick actually working for you rather than wait for me to fiddle faddle around and 
get larger leggings for this giant watermelon here. So, all right, I'm gonna head over to the winter squash. Let's get those protected. All right, so now we're over here with our winter squash. We got our Waltham butternut squash here, and there's some uh, Pippin's yellow acorn squash over there. Super simple, all we're gonna do is same concept. Give it a little stretch. Stretch it over top here, and this one will fit easily. Just give it a good stretch here. Stretch it all the way up and around. There we go. Stretch it all the way up and around, and there you go. Super simple. So it looks very strange. I mean, you got, you definitely have a, it definitely looks like you have tights on your fruits, but it works. And so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get those protected as well. I got a few more Waltham butternut squash as well to protect, but it's very, very simple. I mean, you can see in, in theory how this works with anything. Obviously, larger size is always better. In, uh, you know, when in doubt, go larger because it will help to, uh, you know, it'll help to stretch over top of those kind of wider fruits there. Now, the other thing I did discover is uh, these ones here have a really, really uh, kind of very stretchy thigh strip here. This helps keep the, 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 um, the legging on the leg so it doesn't slip down. And so if you, if you have trouble getting over top of like a bulbous part of the fruit, just cut off that really stretchy material there. That way this part stretches a lot more than this part here. Easy. So as you can see, this is a super simple method to protect your fruits from pests. It's honestly as simple as just stretching it over the top of the fruit, pulling it up over the fruit, and you're done. That simple. When the fruit's ripe, simply clip it from the vine or you know the, the plant, and then just pull it off and take it inside. It's that simple. You can even use you can even reuse the leggings, assuming you didn't ruin them in the process. So they are reusable, which is nice as well. I wanted to take you really quick over to our tomato plants to show you just that application because I know a lot of people, a lot of my viewers in Australia are coming into the warm weather and you guys are growing peppers and tomatoes. And one of the things you guys all face that is a huge problem is fruit flies. Fruit flies actually will lay an egg inside of your fruit and we don't, in the States, we don't have this problem. But in Australia, um, this is a huge problem and a lot of people won't even grow uh, tomatoes and peppers because of this problem. The fruit fly will actually kind of sting the fruit It'll lay an egg inside of the fruit, and then a maggot will actually live inside of that fruit, the immature fruit, and as it ripens, it will cause the, the fruit to drop off the, the plant uh, prematurely before it ever ripens, meaning that a lot of times you won't get any fruit at all. All right, so we got our tomatoes here. We don't have any super small tomatoes, so obviously you'd wanna do this when they're more immature, but you know, here in Michigan, most of our tomatoes are almost done, so we're gonna just use what we have here, but you're gonna stretch it over top, you're going to just pull it over top of the tomato. Be careful not to knock it off the stem, obviously. And you wanna pull it up real nice and far. So this thigh band here that protects the, uh, or it keeps the legging from slipping down the thigh. What you wanna do is pull that up nice and far so the thigh band is really far away from the stem because the thigh band is kind of loose and flappy. It doesn't have a whole lot of elastic in it. It's more taut. So pull it up nice and far and that way you, what you can do is you can kind of just, just wrap that thigh band around the stem or kind of tuck it out of the way. And that really helps to protect the, the fruit itself. This also is really great for things like birds. A lot of birds won't, won't peck holes in your tomatoes if you've got leggings over top because it just gives that little bit of a protective barrier. So that is, it's that simple. And you guys are gonna protect most of your fruits if you catch them soon enough from the dreaded fruit fly as well. So I hope this helps, I hope this works. And uh, yeah, it looks a little funny but you're gonna get something out of your crop, which is really the ultimate goal. So there you go. As silly and as ridiculous as it sounds to use leggings in the garden, it works. So laugh all you want, but it works. And so give it a shot. Let me know what you think about it. Um, if you've used this method, let me know your experiences in the comments box below as well. And also, if you've, if you've not yet subscribed, make sure to do that. Now is a great time to subscribe because you've already seen this video. If you liked it and you enjoyed it, you'd 
like all of our other videos that we're gonna be putting out as well. And we're gonna be putting a ton more out, I can guarantee you that. So I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you learned something new. As always, this is Luke from the My Gardener channel, reminding you to grow big or go home. We'll catch you all later, see ya.